morning guys it is wednesday today and it's in the morning now before my work day i'm about to go out for my run just wanted to pop on here and start the vlog this is like an end of the week into the weekend vlog i don't really know what to call it but i know i'm gonna have some things coming up that would probably be good to film my mouth isn't working yet to speak because it's too early <laughs> It's about 6.45 right now. I'm gonna go out for a run. Recently, I changed my work schedule so that I work nine hour days instead of eight hour days and have um, every other Friday off. So that means I start work a half hour earlier and end it a half hour. No, I start work a half hour earlier and it ends a half hour longer than it normally would. Ever since that had happened, it's been harder for me to get up and do my workouts in the morning. And finally, last night, I was like, you know what, I think the solution is I just need to go to bed earlier so that I can wake up earlier. <laughs> Seems logical, but it wasn't logical to my brain. So my new rule for myself is I need to be in bed by 9.30, like in my actual bed, then I can read or watch TikToks or watch vlogs, whatever. And then actually have my eyes closed to be asleep by 10.30 so I can get up um, and be ready to go out the door to run by like 6.45. So that's where I am now. I'm going to go out to run and I will see you in a little bit. Hi guys, it's later on now. I am getting ready to make dinner. My work day is over. It's about, it's exactly 5.45 right now. Earlier on this morning when I was doing my run, because it is dark earlier now and because I have to get up earlier, <laughs> um, it's not like bright enough whenever I need to get my run in for me to go outside, but it gets brighter as my workout goes on. So <laughs> today I didn't feel comfortable going out when it was as dark as it was. So I just started my run on my treadmill, which I prefer to run outside now. So if I can be outside, I like to be outside. And then halfway through, I switched to being outside because the sun was up and it actually worked out pretty well. So, you know, that's an option for when the mornings are dark like this. But I actually ended up running for 20 minutes today, which is good because I'm working my way up to be able to do 30 minutes at once which I was at previously, but like I said, I stopped running for a couple of months and I kind of lost it, but it's coming back. I feel that it is within reach. But yeah, I just worked my full work day. Here we are at the end of the day, waiting for Ben to get home. I'm going to make a recipe uh, that's for a like panko breaded cod recipe in the oven. I don't normally make cod because it's not my favorite. I have to be in like a specific mood to want it and I'm in that mood now <laughs> so yeah I don't make it all the time I only make it like a couple of times a year we'll see how this recipe is because I've never made it before it's from Ina Garden I'll post it below but I just looked on Pinterest for like a baked cod recipe with like breadcrumbs or something like that and this came up and it sounded pretty good and it's an Ina Garden recipe so I feel like it should be pretty reliable so yeah I'm gonna get started on that now Ben called me before he left to come home and he was saying that he wants to do some renovation things tonight that he had been working on but he wants to finish up mostly the trim work he wants to finish that up we have to pick out like doorknobs for the interior doors because we also need to paint all of the doors in here i don't know like there's no door on my pantry back there because it's downstairs it needs to be painted all the other doors just don't match right now they all need to be painted and i need to switch out the hardware as well because right now it's gold and that's not the vibe I'm going for. I think I want to replace it with like a satin nickel vibe, something that is classic that I feel like is going to withstand the test of time. <laughs> so yeah, that's what Ben wants to do tonight. I'm honestly in the mood where I really don't even want to do anything. <laughs> I'm just like, I just want to like veg out and do nothing but i feel like i'm gonna have to help ben out because he seems to be in like a go 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 mood which is understandable because he wants to get these renovations done and so do i but you know i'm probably just gonna need the little extra push today to do things but yeah that's where we are right now let's get started on the cod recipe it seems really easy and actually really fast so let's see how it is 
Here's my cod in the dish. So it's just on top of some olive oil, you salt and pepper it, and put it in the oven for 10 minutes. But my cod is actually still a tiny bit frozen, so I'm probably gonna have to put it in for a little bit longer than 10 minutes. And then you take it out and you do the breadcrumb part. So let's do that. Once it's out of the oven, you pour white wine and lemon juice right on top of it. And then you take this mixture, which is of Ritz crackers, panko, parsley, lemon zest, salt, butter, and garlic on top of the fillets. And there it is. I just boiled some green beans for the side. And that's that. Hi guys, it's Thursday, it's after work. I'm currently in my bathroom getting ready to go to this event that they're having on the main street near us that's called, I think it's called a fall shopping crawl. I'm not exactly sure what it is other than the shops are open later so you can shop in them and maybe it's festive themed, but <laughs> I know they have them for different seasons, but I've never been to one before, but my mom and I are going to that tonight and I'm just trying to get ready quickly because I just got done with work and she said she was gonna meet me at 5.30, it's 5.15 now. Just have to touch up my hair and do my makeup. Just thought I would chat while I'm doing my makeup. I'm actually just touching it up because I put on a little bit earlier. This morning, I didn't pick up my camera because I was kind of rushing, but I woke up at 6 a.m. like I've been trying to do. Well, actually, what actually happens is I set my alarm for 6 a.m. and I give myself a half hour to wake up. So <laughs> my alarm goes off and I kind of snooze until 6.30. And then at 6.30, I actually get up and so today I've been wanting to incorporate pure bar workouts back into my workout routine because right now I had just been doing running and previously I was doing running and pure bar but I kind of wanted to ease my way back into working out again and so I had just been doing running for the past couple of weeks and today was the first day I incorporated Cure Pure Bar back in. I just use their app on my phone so you can do the bar workouts at home, which is really nice. They have so many workouts on there and they upload them like every single week. So I just use that. I love that I can do it from home. I've been using that for a couple of years now and I think it's um, really effective even doing it from home. So I did that this morning. Felt pretty good about that, did my full work day, and here we are. The room that I'm using for my Pure Bar workout though is like kind of a disaster zone right now. So <laughs> I want to turn it into like a calming workout room and have like mood lighting in there. I still have to paint the walls in there. We kind of destroyed the wall by taking off the wallpaper border that was in there. So we need to patch that up. <laughs> It's just a lot of work to be done in that room. Even though I did go to bed earlier last night, I was in my bed by 10, th no. I was in my bed by 9.30 and then closed my eyes at 10.30, but I'm just not used to going to bed earlier, even though I'm tired, like when bedtime comes, it takes me a while to actually fall asleep. So I've still just kind of been a little bit tired this week from my new schedule but i'll get used to it it's just gonna take some time but my next friday that i have off is next friday actually <laughs> my next friday i have off is next friday um which is the day after halloween so that's pretty convenient because 
I'll be able to stay up late Halloween night. And for Halloween, we always go trick-or-treating with Ben's nephews. They're so cute every year. They do their trick-or-treating in their costumes. It's always so fun and cute and festive. So we have that to look forward to. This weekend, we are doing our actual like Halloween party celebrations. So my friend Sam, who I went to law school with, is having a house party that is in the theme of the 20s because she has been renovating her house and she most recently renovated the basement of her house to be a speakeasy. So I haven't seen it yet. I'm really excited to see what that looks like. I think it'll be really cool. She's like very into interior design and she just like has a good eye for all of that stuff. So I have no doubt it will be amazing. We may or may not go to a brewery tomorrow as well that's having a Halloween party around here, but I'm not positive about that yet. It may be happening. But obviously for the 20s party, I'm gonna be dressing up as a flapper. And I got a costume from Amazon for that. It's just like a green flapper dress. I'll show you um, this weekend when I wear it. Also, Sunday is my sister Caitlin's birthday, but she also asked if we wanted to go to this pumpkin patch to get pumpkins with her on Sunday. So probably be doing that on Sunday as well. So it's really just a festive weekend coming up. Sorry about that. My camera battery died in the middle of that little makeup spiel, but I did my makeup, touched up my hair, and I'm ready to go. I have my Abercrombie Peanuts Halloween sweatshirt on, sweatshirt, shirt on, <laughs> because I am trying to make the most out of my Halloween apparel because I only have a couple of days left to wear it all. But yeah, got that on with a little sweater. It's a little bit chilly outside, but it's like super hot in my house right now. But I think it's like 50 something degrees outside. I swear my house just gets so much heat because of the way the sun sits on it from the front. <laughs> so anyway, that's my little tirade about that. This is my outfit. This sweater is also from Abercrombie. I got it last year. My jeans are from Abercrombie. They're the ankle cut jeans the curve love version and then i have these flats on from target which i believe i wore in the last vlog but yep this is my outfit let's do some shop crawling shop crawling shop crawling shop crawling okay all right i'm in the car now with my mom and we're ready to do some shop crawling <laughs> is that what the name of the cement was shop crawling we're scared because this sign says no parking, but it has a qualifier that is for the Halloween parade on Saturday. So I think we're fine. It's after my work day, so I said my work schedule had changed so that now I work nine hour days and have every other Friday off. But the exception to that is the Fridays that I do work, I work eight hour days. So today I worked from 7.30 to four o'clock. And so now it's about 4.30. I got dressed in my workout clothes because I did not do a workout this morning because I was just so tired. I could not get out of bed. It just wasn't gonna happen. But I was like thinking throughout the day that I felt guilty that I didn't get my workout in. And I was like, you can just do it at the end of the day. Like, why are you creating this arbitrary rule for yourself? 
no one is here like checking when you did your workout it's just you so <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're right, Erin. I can just do my workout at the end of the day. So that's what I'm gonna do. I feel like sometimes I'm just too hard on myself and too rigid in how I think things should be done that if I don't do it 100% correctly, I'm just like, well, it's not even worth it now. Might as well just eat a million things, lay on the couch all night, you know? So I'm trying to combat that. And I'm gonna go for my workout. I'm just gonna go do a run around the neighborhood. First, I'm gonna eat a snack though, cause I'm kinda hungry. I had like a chicken Caesar wrap for lunch and it wasn't super filling cause it didn't really have that much chicken in it. But yeah, I'm a little bit hungry. I'm just having a honey crisp apple with a little bit of crunchy peanut butter. Side note, I was looking at like the nutritional facts for this peanut butter. It's 200 calories for two tablespoons. And this is one tablespoon. It's like such a small amount of peanut butter. That's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna eat this. Ben and I just plan on kind of relaxing tonight and not really doing much since the rest of this weekend is gonna be pretty busy. I was talking about potentially going to a brewery tonight, but that's not happening. We're just gonna do the party tomorrow at my friend Sam's on Saturday and then the pumpkin patch on Sunday. So tonight we're just gonna get some takeout, um, probably maybe watch a Halloween movie on TV and just relax. I have some laundry going behind me if you can hear that. I wanted to get like the bedding washed because Ben just got over his sickness and I hadn't washed it yet, but he's pretty much fully recovered now. And so yeah, I wanted to cleanse those. Um, thankfully, I did not get sick, knock on wood. Also, the thing my mom and I went to yesterday, that shop crawl thing, it was cute and it was nice, like the shops were open later, but it wasn't so much like an event as it was just like the shops being open later and they were kind of like decorated for fall. But it was still cute and we still had a fun time, but there like weren't that many people there. I think we just thought it was gonna be like a bigger deal than it actually was. But um, it was still really nice and fun. And my mom and I went to this burger place down there to eat dinner together, so that was a good time. We kinda wanna go back, cause they were talking about how they're gonna be putting Christmas stuff up. Um, I think two weeks from now, they said. And so we kinda wanna go back for that cause they're having a ladies night on Thursday in two weeks. So we potentially may be going back for that for their Christmas decorations, but we shall see. I'm about to go out for my run now, but I just remembered something else I wanted to talk about. I think it was in my camping video that I talked about how I subscribed to Audible and I listened to Unbound on there by Toronto Burke. And I really enjoyed that. And you only get one credit per month on Audible, like with their standard membership, I'm pretty sure. So I used that one credit for Unbound and I've been waiting for my next credit to come this month and it just came this week. So I'm going to get another book on Audible and listen to that when I run. And so another book, just like Unbound that I had on my bedside table for forever, but I never read another book that I've had on my bedside table for a while is Crying in H Mart, and it's also a memoir read by the author herself. And so I'm gonna get that and listen to that. I heard it's a really good book. I also like listening to the person who wrote the memoir read it on Audible. I find it like more enjoyable than reading the book itself. So yeah, I'm going to get that on Audible right now and then go out on my run. Ben and I are on the back porch now. You can kind of see my mom's ignore the um, umbrella that's laying down over there. I have Eloise's cat gate over there as well. I'm sitting here in a blanket, drinking a blue moon, and we're just relaxing. Here's my pumpkins and my mom over here. And behind it is my Yasso bar wrapping, cause I just had a Yasso bar. <laughs> Other than that, what else do we do? Oh, I got a buffalo chicken wrap to eat. Ben got a Caesar salad, some chicken wings, and we're just gonna sit here and relax. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning now. As you can hear in the background, Ben is doing some renovating things. He's installing a 
plates over the electric. Is that what you call it? Yeah. You're change the electric. He's changing out the electric and installing the plates for the electric throughout the house. So now we'll no longer be at risk of electrocuting ourselves. We've had a pretty slow morning so far. It's like 10.40, sat in bed, drank our coffee, I read my book, got dressed, washed my face, and I'm gonna go out on a little walk by myself throughout the neighborhood. Cause it's really nice outside. It feels really crisp and cool and fall-like. And I'm trying to get 10,000 steps in every day. So far, I've done that this week, but on the weekends, I struggle to get in 10,000 steps. So I'm gonna make an effort and try to do it. Today, we have the party at Sam's house, but it's not until seven o'clock is when it starts. We'll probably go a little bit later than seven, I feel like, but who knows? Ben's gonna be doing his work in here. I kind of want to unpack some things in here when I get back and we'll see where the day takes us. First, I'm going to water my mums. So I filled up my watering can. I already did the ones in the back, which look much nicer than my mums out front, which you are about to witness. <laughs> They're like partially dead because they get too much sun. All right, I'm back from my walk now. I just realized I look kind of like a corpse, but that's okay. <laughs> it was a very crisp, cool, perfect autumn day. Made for a great walk. How many steps did I get in? I walked for a little over an hour and I got 7,692 steps in. What the heck? I'll definitely be able to hit 10,000 then. But right now, Ben is still doing the electric. I'm gonna run to get us some sandwiches from Jersey Mike's because I'm hungry and I don't really have any food here. So let's go do that. There's the goods. I'm very excited to eat a sandwich. There we go. I got the mini turkey provolone on wheat. That sandwich was super delicious. Really hit the spot. Um, right now though, I'm going to unpack some fall things from my decoration boxes. I have them all kind of stacked up up here. I'm mostly interested in unpacking a lot of like my kitchen things. Like I have a bunch of mugs and glassware in there and maybe some of the decorations. I really feel like I don't want to get too into the weeds with decorations because the renovations in here are happening and I just feel like that's gonna be a lot um but maybe i'll put a couple little things up so that's what i'm gonna do ben did most of the electric down here obviously the one behind me is partially done but we need to get the plates for this he doesn't have it yet let me show you the ones that are completely done though in here they are completely done looks really sharp and really nice can you even see that? I feel like it's so dark. <laughs> you get the gist. So yeah, the house is coming together, starting to look like an actual house. It's still echoey though, because there's basically no furniture in here, but we will be getting couches. We have two couches and a chair that are going to be delivered. I think in the second week of November is when they estimated. So at least we'll have furniture coming for the living room area. And then I have like a couple of things in the basement from our apartment that we moved out of that I can put in places, but it's really just like sparse. <laughs> like I have a credenza that's extremely heavy to bring up, which I think I'll put in the dining room behind me. I have like a bench I can put somewhere I have a TV stand, which I'm not gonna use because our TV is above the fireplace, but I think I'm gonna put that upstairs somewhere. And just a couple of other little things, like I have a couple of lamps. <laughs> Nothing crazy though. We need to fill this house with furniture. I think I'm gonna look pretty seriously on 
like Facebook marketplace to see what kind of stuff I can find down there. I really want to get a kitchen table next after our um, living room furniture comes. So then this whole area will kind of be done like from the kitchen to the living room. I don't know. We'll see how it all goes. But right now I'm going to go through these boxes behind me, see what we got to work with here. So I have all my stuff unboxed. What I'm going to do with it is another story. So first things first, I know that I need to wash all of the mugs because they've been sitting in that dusty old bin for a year. So I'm gonna put those in the dishwasher and we'll go from there. to go on a hayride. The hayride goes up that huge hill. I feel like we're gonna fall off. <laughs> the secret to a corn maze is to follow the left wall at all times. Let's see if it works. Got a hot apple cider. So did Ben. Caitlin got a frozen. Apple cider slush. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Chop, chop, chop. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, dear Caitlin. Seven years old. Happy birthday to you. And many more and something. Uh, I can't remember what the thing was. Okay. Are you gonna blow your candles out? Here she goes. There's a plate right next to you. She's gonna blow them out. There's a plate, There's right, a plate right under her. <laughs> it's not COVID anymore. What the heck? I know. Hi guys, it is later on now. I'm just editing this vlog, but I wanted to hop on here and end it because once again, I did not end my vlog. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Just wanted to come on and say thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. I did notice I got up to 50 subscribers. Last video I said I was at 49. I needed one more to bump me up. So thank you for getting me up to 50. Let's try to make it to 100. That is my goal um, for, I don't know, this year. I don't know. I haven't really thought it through. It's just a goal I have <laughs> to get to 100. So let's see if we can get to 100. I'm going to be filming the next few days, um, which involves Halloween, the weekend after Halloween, and, you know, the festivities associated with Halloween. So yeah stay tuned if you want to see that but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye